Hello Toads, welcome to TechTood.com. In this lecture we will understand another enhanced feature of ER diagram that is generalization. So let's start. Generalization is basically the reverse process of specialization. In last lecture we studied specialization. So this generalization is basically the reverse of specialization. Okay. So I'll write a few points. This is reverse of reverse of reverse of specialization. Okay. And this is also a as I said it is reverse, it is bottom up approach bottom up approach okay well so let's understand what it is with an example okay what do we do let's revise what I uh, we studied in last lecture we studied that this person is generalized or sorry specialized by adding some additional attribute into employee and customer okay so here what do we do is we start analyzing our universe of discourse and in this universe of discourse we start by finding out all the possible lower level entity okay so for the same example only we will start analyzing in reverse manner that is bottom up approach so start by the employee okay you will the shop will have employee and customer two kind of entities okay now the customer will have some attribute and employee will have some some attribute like name okay city street and then employee number okay this one similarly customer customer will also have some attribute that is name name city street then uh, customer number than credit okay so these are the attributes of employee and customer okay now we thought we uh, analyze it little bit and see the both the entities have some attributes common right for example both have both have have attribute name attribute city and attribute street name city street okay so now what we can do is we can go for more general entity okay which is a person person okay and this person will have name attribute street attribute and city okay good so what we are seeing here is but this will be also represented by this triangular notation okay which says if you go in reverse manner from bottom to top it says this two entity employee and customer employee and customer has been generalized into a person entity okay and then what do we do we remove these entities these attributes which are there in the person which has been taken in the person okay so now we ended up with the same ER, di ER diagram which we had in case of specialization but the difference is approach was bottom up okay here lower lower level entity unite and produce higher level entity okay two lower level entity employee and customer unites and produces a higher level entity person 
okay so this is basically generalization if you uh, see the term itself what we are doing is we are generalizing okay if consider two instance of a employee and customer like one instance of employee and one instance of customer both employee and customer can be called as person right so what we are saying rather than calling it separately we are we are generalizing the name and calling him person okay so this was the concept of generalization i hope this is clear now and uh, if you have any doubt feel free to ask your question okay uh, see you in the next lecture thanks for watching